good morning joint and disjoint sets so first let's discuss about joint sets i'll make two examples set 1 2 3 4 when you consider these two sets you can find both of these sets have common elements they have common elements that means they have an intersection part such type of sets are called joint sets so joint sets have a common portion between them so there are two sets if those two sets have a joining portion a common portion between them we can call them as join sets and if they do not have anything common then they call us disjoint sets like a is set a b c b is set p q r do you find anything common in that no nothing you don't find anything common between them that means the intersection of A and B is null set. Nothing is common. Okay. And such type of sets are known as disjoint sets. Okay. Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are the diagrammatic representation of sets. If you represent a set in a diagrammatic way, we call such a diagram as Venn diagram it is introduced by the mathematician John Venn introduced by John Venn that's why it is named as Venn diagram so in Venn diagram we use a particular uh, figures like uh, rectangle we use rectangle for universal set always rectangle for universal set and other sets the subsets of universal set are denoted with circle we draw the circle for that so when you draw suppose we have set a a is set 1 2 3 4 when you represent this set in a venn diagram first you have to draw a rectangle which is universal set now in that draw a circle that is set A you know every set is a part of universal set or every set is a subset of universal set that's why I'm drawing inside of this now what are the elements 1 2 3 4 just write all the elements in that set so this is the diagrammatic representation of a set using Venn diagrams if we have two sets, let's see how to draw two sets in that. Okay. Suppose we have two sets A and B. Now I made two sets here. They are nothing, they are not joining each other. Are they joining each other? They are not meeting each other. So this is the representation of disjoint sets. At the same time, If you joining the sets, if set side, the diagrams are overlapping. You can call those sets are joint sets. They are joint sets. Okay. Joint sets. If you take this whole portion, if you consider the whole portion. That is the operation A union B. Because remember A union B consists of all the elements presented either in A or in B or in both. So here we use the concept in both. Okay. If we take only this region, that is a common region of set A and set B isn't it 
so we call that one as a intersection b a intersection b suppose this is set a if you take this region you see what is that region it's a region in the universal set but not in a so this shaded region represents a universal set region but not a so this is a region representing not a not a means a complement not a is a complement Now in this you can find out A is a set and B is completely inside the set. That means B is a part of A. You can say B is a part of A or we can say that B is a proper subset of A. Okay. Just check this example problem. You can find a Venn diagram where this is a universal set. And set A and set B. It consists of many elements in this. Okay. First question is list all the elements of A and B. We have to list all the elements of A and B. So let's look at A, which is the set A. This one. This is set A. Yes. Now you see what are the elements in that set A, which are 6, 18, 12 and 24. So you may be confused, 12 and 24 is in set B also now. Yes, doesn't matter. 12 and 24 are in set A and also set B, they are common elements. So that doesn't matter. We have to think only about set A. Set A consists of, this is set A, it has 4 elements. So A is set 6 12 18 24 if so what is set b set b is this one now what are the elements in set b we have 4 8 12 16 20 24 4 8 16 20 24 and 12 write in order so 12 comes first 12 16 20 24 those are the elements of set b second question is a intersection b which is a intersection b part intersection means common which is the common region of a and b this one no? yes so what are the elements in that region 12 1 24 so intersection b is set 12 24 a union B. A union B is the, all the elements presented in A and B. All the elements presented in A and B you have to take, which are 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 18, 20, and 24. You have to take all the elements presented in A and B. Make sure that no element is repeating. Okay. And fourth question is A union B the whole complement. A union B the whole complement. That means the complement of A union B. It's nothing but not A union B. So let us draw A union B first. What is A union B here? This full A and B. This is A union B. So this shader region is A union B. So which are the elements not in A union B? Yes, 14, 10, 2 and 22. They are not in A union B now. So A union B complement is set 2, 10, 14, 22. As a result. If you check this diagram, this one diagram, you can find three overlapping sets. That means three join sets you can find. They are A, B and C. They are overlapping sets. 
from this we can identify a few topics a few parts it's nothing but let's see this portion you see that portion this is the common portion for a b and c this portion is a common portion for all the three sets so we call that portion as a intersection b intersection c the intersection of a b and c that is a intersection b intersection c got okay So that is A intersection, B intersection, C. Same figure I am drawing once again. You see this portion now. What is that portion? Yes. That is the intersection of A and B. The complete intersection of A and B. Of course, C is there, but a small portion of C you can find. So, this is the complete intersection of A and B. So, we call this one as A intersection B. So, what is this portion? Yes, the complete intersection of B and C. So, this one represents B intersection C. A, B, C. This one is complete intersection of A and C, which includes a part of B also. So, that is intersection of A and C. Okay. Now you see the shader region. What is this shader region represents? This region. Yes, it is the intersection of A and B. Isn't this common region of A and B? But no C there. So this is only A intersection B. Only A intersection B means there is no C in that. You could find exactly A and B are intersecting here. No C in that. Similarly, this one. This is only A and C. Remember this intersection as and in probability we learned. Where in mutually exclusive and independent events, there we used these symbols. This is only B and C. Okay. Now check the shader region here. What this shader region represents? It represents only A. Do you find a B in this shader region? No. B starts from here. C starts from here. So this region represents only a so which will be only b this one this is only b and this is only c okay question shade p intersection r union q we have to shade p intersection r union q Okay, so from the figure, from the diagram, P intersection R, which is P intersection R, that means common of P and R, which is common of P and R. Yes, that is common of P and R. Now we want Q. Q is this one. Okay. So we want P intersection R union Q union. So our operation is union means all. That means total shade we have to take. So P intersection R union Q represent this full shade. 
that will be p intersection r union q now let's shade this one a union b intersection c so what is a union b so what you need to do is simply you have to shade this bracket first this this is one function now a union b is one function shade it a union b means total a and b if you shade it this is a union b full a and b you have to shade i shaded a union b with a horizontal shade horizontal line now the next function is c i am shading it with vertical one Okay, total C we are shading. Okay, now you see the operation between these two, which is intersection. What is meant by intersection? Common. Means the common shade of horizontal and vertical. Oh, common shade of horizontal and vertical means there should be horizontal and vertical. Which is that region? This, this one. Isn't it? A union B intersection A union C. So here we have two sets. One is A union B and the another one is A union C. Okay. Let me shade A union B with what do you want? Okay, horizontal will shade A union B and A union C will shade with vertical. And let's see its intersection. That means we want intersection of horizontal and vertical. Okay, that means cross we want. So let's shade A union B first with horizontal. Horizontal means you have to shade horizontally. Okay. And A union C is vertical. A union C, A and C. Vertically we have to shade. A union C. Okay. Now as per our question, we want intersection. Intersection means common region of both of these. Common region of, that means crosses. Where do you find the common region? Yes. This region, no? yes, that is the answer. Okay, so uh, your task is exercise 9.9, .9, complete exercise 9.9, .9, and send me the answers. Thank you.